Okay, so for this video I'm going to show you how to do some underpainting. Um, uh, and it's, a, as you can see, it's a, a forest scene or a wood scene um, with some lovely golden russet coloured bracken underneath. Got some nice sunshine coming through there. But for this I'm just going to show you for the first start of this picture the underpainting that I would do for this. Now, I've got some art graph which is a um, solid form of, of a pastel really but it, I'm going to show you what it does when you mix it with water okay so we will start um, and I'm looking at the composition um, that tree is far enough to the left um, this tree here would I would normally not use because it's in the middle of the picture therefore it could split the picture in half but however it is the the one thing in this picture that is actually useful um, because it's got the light shadow from the sun so the the, the, the sun rays are, or the shadow is, is directly behind that tree it adds to the picture so in this case I'm going to leave that tree where it is these lines are also radiating away from that sun if you can see so that's what we're going to try and achieve with this picture but for just now I'm just going to do this uh, under painting so you can see how it works with water Right, okay, so I'm going to do that middle tree to start with, and I'm going to do it. I'm doing it on a larger piece of paper than I, I normally use for videos, but um, this I'm going to use um, uh, to do a, a larger picture for you. Right, okay, so I'm just going to get that tree in there to where I roughly want um, roughly want that tree and then all the other trees in there just straight up and down nothing difficult just note where they all are so you're using the picture's reference you hear me say that quite a few times <laughs> um, but I just want the trees in there okay and then they all disappear off into that I just want to come down a little bit more with that. Um, there's a nice tree there. Just note where they all are for the for the start. So we're just straight straight up and down. They are fairly straight trees. Um, and we can put that one in just on the edge. Okay, Not quite as long as that. Right. Okay. So at the back here. Um, We've got the uh, the trees that are mass. They're, they're probably uh, fir trees and you can't really see through them. So I'm going to block those in with the side of the art graph. So I'm using the side of it um, to form the, the, the landscape there that I can see. Some nice sunshine coming through there. So it disappears off that off that side use the side for more trees and then we've got some more deciduous not deciduous evergreen trees there and I guess these are evergreens but um, they are very sparse in in their leaves so uh, you can see through them but there is some nice uh, we were using some uh, sky holes as we call them uh, to, de you know, to pick out the uh, the spaces where the sky is popping through. So really you want a nice covering over those trees. Now for the bottom, I'm just going to switch. It's the same art graph, but it's a russet colour. So just to give me the nice russets that I want on that bottom, as an underpainting, I'm just going to put in some russet colours and I'm using the side of the pastel just to give me coverage I could come down a little bit more with those trees and I possibly will at a later stage but I just want to get in some ground over there we've got some green as well um, there is some lighter green where the sun is 
and this is all uh, like I say it's under painting so it, it is painted over um, but it just gives you nice nice areas got some sunshine coming through there so I'm just going to use a little bit of that up oh, that part of the wood and across there right I'm just going to go a little bit darker with these trees I'm using a dark brown now these are just to bring these trees further out okay one of the lines you did before and just put in those lines in got some shadows I'm not too worried but I just want to mark out where how they radiate from that sun okay can't really see that so we'll go over that in a minute okay so we've got a dark tree there and we've got that dark one on the edge okay so this is just just to give me an idea where everything sits you you're not looking at a blank piece of paper it's a little bit darker in there so over over we go with that and it's darker on this side quite a lot darker on this side okay so we've got a general feel of where all those trees go now then, I've just got water and I'm using a regular paintbrush. It's quite a big paintbrush um, and I might even go even bigger with a larger paintbrush uh, if I'm not getting um, uh, I'm not getting the coverage that I need and it's not quick enough. Okay, right, this is just plain water. There's no paint on there. It looks like there is on that brush, but <laughs> I assure you uh, it's just plain water. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this and you might feel like you're painting at the moment because what I've picked up is paint look okay so it's the art graph that melts with the water um, oops that went very straight um, and you just go over you see the colors coming out that we've used the reds this this terracotta red and the um, the yellowy green I just want to pick out all the trunks that we did place some more water and just gonna go into this I've not used yet and that one there now you can see why it doesn't really matter what those first lines look like because you can Pick them up again with the uh, with the paint. If you miss some trees, that you can actually paint with this too. Now that's just paint on there. It is a hard pastel, but it does it does melt. Right now for the um, the larger bits that we've done over there, I'm just going to use the larger brush. This will allow me to. Um, just move everything but more look a lot more of it okay so I want to stop that line there because it's lighter at the bottom I know I'm getting rid of the lines don't worry and don't worry if it drips drips are good it's an underpainting remember what I do want to do is just get rid of some of that liquid on there and we will go into that and we'll pick up some of those russet colours. Okay, so this is just underpainting the floor. Don't worry if you lose some of the trees, we'll put them back in when we've. Uh... But I want you to see how this develops. 
in the next video because I have to wait for this to dry so I'm going to do it in two parts or maybe even three um, but I'm, uh, I have to wait for it to dry so there's quite a bit of drying time with this okay so we'll, we'll just just doing the underpainting for today right so I'm just picking up um, rinse that yellowy off just want to pick up on the black there and down there because it's very dark right we'll pick some up there I'm going to leave those bits there ready for the sun right so that is the underpainting for the painting that we are working on which is this forest scene here okay I'm going to leave it there because I have to leave it to dry um, we'll pick this up um, again and I'll show you how we actually apply dry pastel onto top of that and you'll see the results okay thank you bye see you later